so turbidites are a really good example of how we can effectively use uh, spaces. And um, there was a geologist, Baumach, who labeled the different parts of a turbidite with names of facies. And we really commonly uh, use that sequence of facies that he uh, wrote out because turbidites have a very, very consistent uh, pattern. And so Baumol was not very creative with his names. He used A, B, C, D, and E. Okay. So the Balma A part is this lower part where you have a finding upward of grains but no sedimentary structures. So this part is finding upward and massive. It often has an erosional base. To this first part. Okay. So B it represents the component uh, where you have a change in sedimentary structures. So he's defining a spacey, defined a species on both the grain size and the sedimentary structure. So this one is primarily planar laminated. And his interpretation is that it's an upper planar lamination. Um, and it can be uh, finding upward, uh, may or may not be, but it usually has an abrupt change at the bottom. So the next component is the one with ripples here, and that's C. And this is a ripple, a current ripple, but usually just say ripple. Uh, cross laminated sand, stone. All right. And if you're going from the planar lamination to the ripple cross lamination, that suggests a decrease in flow speed. Then above that is D, which is usually this um, poorly laminated planar laminated. Uh, very fine sand to silt stone. Okay. Okay. And this, this boundary can be either sharp or gradational. I should say the, the, um, this, the ripple cross laminated is an abrupt change or sharp change, and that's because there's a really big distinction between the upper plan planar lamination and the ripple cross lamination in terms of the dynamics of the bed form. Uh, when you're going back into the uh, planar, this poorly planar laminated sandstone, that has a very low flow speed, but the size is also decreasing, so you can get some ripples in here, and so this is often a gradational boundary. And then towards the top, most of the silt, especially at the top, is just is settling from suspension slowly and it grades up into the mud. So then you have a gradational boundary into E, which is the mudstone. And the mudstone is just the, the uh, very fine grained sediment that is settling out as, as a background for the, the turbidity current between the turbidity to current flows. So, so the main part of the flow that's represents the turbidity current flow itself is the Bauma A through C parts where the water's actually flowing pretty quickly. And then the D represents the sort of remaining silt size sediment that gets, um, uh, that settles out. And then finally the, the background sedimentation. So thanks for watching.